Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about Rockstar Games actually holding a secret meeting in their hometown of Edinburgh, Scotland. Now, first of all, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. If there are any Scottish people here or know how to pronounce that city correctly, hopefully I did so in a way that wasn't completely butchered. But anyways, we're going to be talking about Rockstar holding a secret meeting where apparently they showed off some pretty interesting things. Now, I have heard that this entire thing was a hoax. So this, of course, has not been confirmed. Take it with a grain of salt. But we are in a pretty interesting time for Rockstar. We are about six months away from when Red Dead Redemption 2 is supposed to be released. Obviously, that's not the only project they're working on. I'm sure they're working on maybe other smaller titles like Bully 2. We, of course, know with the success of Grand Theft Auto, something like GTA 6 almost has to be in the work in terms of early production. So could that meeting have been something about that? So I'll try and leave links in the description. This is going to get a little confusing, so you're just going to have to follow along as best as possible. Even I'm still confused by the details of this entire scenario, uh, but it's been pretty interesting nonetheless. So I'm using a post on a video game thread on a website, Resetera, and I'll leave a link to that in the description. It really helps break down this entire scenario. So for this, we have to go all the way back to March 28th when this tweet was put out, packed for London, see you guys there. And then they tagged a bunch of people in the uh, sort of GTA online community. And the photo of was a Rockstar Games bag. And then what I think is a bar of soap that is like Red Dead Redemption style, uh, the tweet didn't have any further more context. So from that post, you could potentially conclude that maybe this user was packed, ready to go to some sort of Rockstar related event in London. Now that post again was on the 28th of March. Now here's where things start to get a little bit juicy. A few weeks back, a user on this thread, which I'll leave a link to in the descriptions on the GTA forum site, said that he or she saw Rockstar with members of the press near Usher Hall in Edinburgh. Now, I'm assuming Usher Hall is like some sort of theater or some sort of like meeting area or whatever. He says that the presentation later took place on March 29th, and he actually goes into detail with his friend describing what he saw at the venue. He said that it included a 15 minute movie, members of the press asking for ice cream, oddly enough, and then press with jetpacks, which of course is incredibly strange. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was a troll, but if that was the case, the thread would have been locked pretty instantly on that site. And many people actually questioned this post, but the moderators on the GTA forum site actually came to his defense and started communicating with a bunch of weird riddles. Now the post by these moderators and admins has already been solved and they were teasing that imminent information would be coming this Thursday, which of course is today. Now I'm assuming that information was supposed to be about Red Dead Redemption 2, as I'm not sure what else Rockstar would ultimately do. Now, in case you guys are wondering, about a couple months ago, Rockstar actually confirmed that in a few weeks, they were gonna be releasing more information on Red Dead Redemption 2. As you guys know, nothing of the sorts has actually come out about Red Dead Redemption 2 since that post where they confirmed that they were going to be delaying the game until October 2018. So Rockstar has really gone radio silent when it comes to information on RDR2, and a lot of people thought that today was going to be the day. This leak backed up with what the GTA forum moderators and administrators confirmed. And as I'm making this video, Rockstar have not done anything of the sorts. In fact, they have put out three tweets today, uh, which is not all that interesting. The first tweet was for tips and tricks on the Vespucci job adversary mode and the Hot Ring Circuit Racing uh, series. So they said that they can give you some gameplay tips for success to help you claim the win and bring home the bacon. Their second tweet was tagging the people involved in those video articles. And their third tweet was a retweet of a photo of a sea sparrow being chased by a police helicopter. So all three of those have to do with Grand Theft Auto Online. None of those have to do with RDR2. And that, of course, got a lot of people upset because everyone is interested in new details about Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, I think this is the first Rockstar title where we're six months away and I feel like we have so little information. I mean, we've gotten two trailers, but that's about it. A couple of screenshots 
I mean, honestly, there's almost been more information in Grand Theft Auto Online about Red Dead Redemption 2, like treasure hunts and whatnot, than there have about the actual game. And it kind of makes you wonder, what is Rockstar doing here? So at the end of the day, I really can't confirm or deny if this secret meeting did happen. It wouldn't shock me if it did. I mean, that, of course, is where Rockstar is from, Edinburgh, Scotland. And it wouldn't shock me if that's something they did. Maybe they invited members of the press to check out some exclusive trailer for an upcoming game. Whether that's Red Dead Redemption 2, that, of course, would be the most likely option. Or whether it's something totally different, I'm not sure. But I think the mystery of this secret meeting is going to remain just that, a mystery. I'm not sure if we're ever going to know. But as far as information coming out today, uh, it doesn't look like that is going to be happening. Now, this sort of brings me back to another topic I've touched on, and that is Rockstar actually doing something major at one of these big gaming conferences, Gamescom or E3. Are they going to make an appearance there? And as days go by where we don't get any information, where we don't get any newswire posts from Rockstar, it almost seems like that's the case. Maybe they are waiting for a big gaming conference or a big convention to reveal more information on RDR2 or one of their future projects instead of doing what they traditionally do, which is just posting a newswire post and then everyone freaks out and they, they go from there. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this story. For right now, this is definitely one of the biggest and weirdest mysteries. Uh, on its own, I wouldn't really take any of this story with a grain of salt, but due to the fact these GTA 4 moderators are you know, playing along with this and we're approving things the original poster said, really has me confused. So now I'm going to take a step back and say, hmm, I wonder what's really going on here. Anyways, I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on this situation if anything of real importance develops. Hopefully soon we just hear some information from Rockstar. I really don't want to have to wait until June, until E3 or August, until games come. Come on, Rockstar. We're all, we're all hungry for information. We want some of it soon. So let me know what you think of this in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.